Now, our next category this evening is the Transforming Society Award, and that's sponsored by the Bright Courtyard Group. And this recognises companies that place a social investment at the very heart of their business. And here, then, are the shortlisted films. The nominees for the 2019 Transforming Society Award were Fair Trade USA, and Fair Trade USA celebrates 20 years of impact. One of the keys to the success of fair trade has been the rise of conscious consumerism and the emergence of a new mentality in the way we shop. What fair trade does is it creates a more transparent and traceable global supply chain. Consumers are asking for products that are consistent with our values. We want to be reassured that we did no harm. Keppel Land and a gift of sight. Multi-view creative with Kimberly Clark, a water story. If there's no water in the taps, you're going to have to take time off work. You're going to have to stand in queues to get water. What does that mean for your quality of life? It was really inspiring to see that people in Cape Town stood up. It was just not the community or the government. Every citizen of Cape Town stood up to really produce water. UPM and UPM Grow Decks a unique biomedical innovation and a true climate action from sustainably managed forest. New businesses are uh, bio-based businesses like renewable fuels, also biochemicals in the future, and we have been growing in some of our growth businesses. We came into the idea of entering the biomedical area as we found out that uh, this new matter, nanocellulose, we call it Crodex, is a fantastic medium to cultivate human cells of any kind. And finally, Waterman Group. And Waterman celebrates International Women in Engineering Day 2018. The defining and rewarding moment of my job, I think, when you see a job that you've done that is finished. And it's an amazing um, feeling that you have. For example, the other week I was having lunch in a restaurant in a building that I designed entirely and seeing the people interacting in the restaurant and feeling, wow, I've actually done this. A really strong selection there. And to announce then the winner of the Transforming Society Award, can I welcome now to the stage Kevin Tang, Managing Director of the Bright Courtyard Group. Thank you, Lisa. Um, it is my great honor to be here to announce the winner of the Transforming Society category goes to Fair Trade USA for Fair Trade USA celebrates 20 years of impact. Unfortunately, Fair Trade USA are unable to be here tonight. So please, can I ask Victoria Brooks, TV, TVE trustee and chair of the judge panel, to accept the award on their behalf, as we can see another clip of the winning film. The essence of fair trade is empowerment. It's helping farmers come together and giving them the tools to solve their own problems. Ha sido un cambio muy satisfactorio para nosotros. Todo lo que nos rodea y todo lo que tenemos nos puede hacer muy felices. We launched at a time when world coffee prices were plummeting. And it enabled us to sign up coffee companies who were looking for a way to give something back. I always believed it would work. Really quickly, we started to add more products. Companies came to us. 20 years later, we're doing more than 30 different products. Quinoa and fresh fruits and vegetables and apparel and home goods and fish. And making a powerful difference in communities all over the world.
Paul Rice, the founder and CEO of Fair Trade USA, to read a speech that he has penned for this evening, since he unfortunately cannot be with us. It is an incredible honor to be recognized by TVE this evening. I wish I could be there in person, but I'm incredib incredibly humbled at the opportunity to share the positive impact Fair Trade has delivered to workers across the globe. As you saw, this video is a testament to our history. I started Fair Trade USA more than two decades ago to fill a void I noticed in the labor justice movement. Instead of providing aid, I wanted to help farmers find their voice within a complex marketplace. I traveled to a co-op in Nicaragua and recruited coffee farmers to sell on fair trade terms. As their incomes rose, more joined in the movement. I knew the model was viable and brought it back to the US and started Fair Trade USA. We partnered with a handful of mission-driven coffee companies who believed we were a harbinger for the conscious consumerism movement and evolved into the leading market-based model of sustainable production, trade, and consumption. Today, we've partnered with more than 1,300 businesses across industries like Whole Foods, Target, Nespresso, Patagonia, and Williams-Sonoma to deliver more than 700 social, economic, and environmental protections and around $610 million in financial benefits to producers around the globe. Making this video was a pivotal moment of reflection. Fair Trade USA has changed habits to create a more equitable system, and we continue to innovate, exploring ways to deliver more transparent information. Again, we are incredibly grateful for this award, and I want to thank the other makers in the room who are ensuring a more sustainable future. I think uh, this is everyone's responsibility to make their efforts to make a better, greener and safer world for everyone. So I think uh, make a society movement is, 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 is very essential. China is one of the most uh, urgent market right now in, in the world. But again, the pollution and uh, you know, environment issue happens to everyone in that part of the world anyway. So, you know, if you say the particular something, that's not really happened. But I think we, as we are part of that, the world, we are all, I mean, experiencing this kind of issues. So I think no matter our country or ourselves, we are making efforts on doing better, you know. Different countries have different views on protecting the world, you know. So how to make a conclusion and also make an agreement between different countries, different cultures. That's the key issues, I think, which we need to address in the, in the next years.